Hello guys, welcome once again to another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we will exclusively talk about today's Falcon Heavy launch and a few updates from Starbase. So, let's dive into it. Just a few hours ago, SpaceX launched its 50th launch of the year today. What an incredible feat for a company founded by a private individual with his own money, way back in 2002. Today's launch of the United States Space Force's USS F-44 mission was the fourth flight of a Falcon Heavy rocket. The world's most powerful rocket lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida through a dense fog atmosphere. Three, two, one, zero, liftoff. After two and a half minutes into the flight, the side strap boosters separated from the main center core booster and returned back to Earth while the core booster continued to boost the second stage further into space. Side core shut Booster down. separation confirmed. And there you can see and heard it. After eight minutes and 20 seconds from liftoff, the two side boosters safely landed at Landing Zone 1 and Landing Zone 2 at Cape Canaveral. The coolest part of Falcon Heavy launches is the double sonic boom of the boosters prior to landing. What an incredible view. Booster landing never gets old. Congratulations to SpaceX and everyone involved in this mission for giving us a spectacular show, and importantly for a successful mission. Here are some additional sonic boom footages captured at the ground. After a few minutes, Elon's mother shared a picture of Elon's youngest son watching the live stream. As Elon also admitted in the past that Lil X is very interested in rockets, I am quite hopeful that he will follow his dad's footprints at SpaceX. Here is a fun fact. SpaceX took eight years to complete 50 launches from the debut flight of Falcon 9 rocket in 2010. Today, they reached that milestone in less than a year. Today's mission was just the start of what is going to be a record-breaking month for SpaceX. We still have 10 more launches scheduled to launch this month alone. So, if you love watching rocket launches, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not miss any of them. Before I end the video, here are a few updates from Starbase. Yesterday, full-stack Starship 24-7 was tested. Another cryogenic test was conducted possibly for checking any leaks on the booster and plumbing on the orbital launch mount. The ship's quick disconnect was also in action. Performing a quick release from the ship may be simulating a liftoff-like condition. Testing on the Starship continues today as well. The road is closed and I will report about today's testing in the next video. Thank you for watching.